All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you basic things to do on your Apple Vision Pro. These are tips and tricks that you will know some of them, you won't know some of them. So let's just get it into it. So the first one is how to take a screenshot. So what you're gonna do is place one finger at the top of your headset where the crown is and the other finger at the top where the power button is, which is right directly to the left of the crown. And you're gonna press them real quick and you'll hear a button, and when you just press them right there, you're gonna take a, you'll have a screenshot. You can view your screenshot in photos. You go into photos, and here is my screenshot that I just took. Now I have this screenshot right here. What about if I want to ultimately make this window bigger, because I'm looking at it, or drag it around, so you can see the bar at the bottom. If I look right at the bar and I pinch with my finger, I can drag it around my room or wherever I am, I can place it up there if I want. I can drag it down. I can make it closer to me by pulling it in or pull it further apart away. And however I want it, say I want it right here. I can also look at the bottom right and I can make this window bigger or smaller. And also at the bottom when I look at it, I can click the X and that will close the window. You can see, there I go, I closed all my windows. That's how you close windows, ex extend them to make them bigger, um, how you can drag them around. There's a few little tips and tricks right in there. Now a real basic one is how do you bring up your apps, like this screen of apps, this home screen? Well, there's a crown button at the top of your headset. You can just press that to make it go, go away and press it again to make it show up. If you look at the left, you're gonna see your apps. You can click on people to see uh, who you have in your contacts. You can click on environments. If I go to environments, this is a cool one. This brings up your different environments and you can live in these environments. So if I wanna go to Yosemite, I'll click that. I am now in Yosemite and I can partly see my environment, but if I just put that, that crown at the top of my headset, if I move it to the left or the right, not pressing it down, just moving it to the left or the right. I can see my full environment, I can turn all the way around and I can see and be in Yosemite. I can even work in here. So I can, I'm in Yosemite, I'm gonna go back to my apps on the left here, I'm gonna open up uh, Safari. So I've got Safari open, Safari's open, opening. I've got this over the window of Safari over there. I can press my little crown button again at the top and get more apps. Maybe I wanna open up Apple Music. So I've got that, I've got Apple Music in front of me. You can hear a bird right now going by me. So you can work in these environments too, which is amazing. So if you wanna get work done or and be a little bit more relaxed, I don't know why my calculator, there it goes. My calculator, nine times nine, or nine times nine, nine times eight, equals 72 and I've got my little calculator right here so I can do work in these amazing environments really as well. So that's how you can bring up all those different um, environments right here. You as many as you want. You can go to Joshua Tree with just a click of a button and now I'm in Joshua Tree and if you move that wheel a little bit, you can actually make it so that it's somewhat in your environment, somewhat not. So pretty cool, you can still have your world and this um, you know, fake world as well, but it's really, really cool stuff. You can also control your volume that way as well. So if I'm just looking up here, um, just by spinning that wheel, if I look at my volume, that's gonna be the volume that plays into my headset, so I can control that. And I can also look to the left as well to control the environment that I see just by spinning that wheel and just also looking at it. And that's basically how you control this whole headset really as well is just by looking at things. You look at it and then you pinch. So if I want the um, this one right here, I'm just gonna pinch at it, I'm looking at it, and now I'm right here, make it full experience. And there we go, let me pinch that and close that. So whatever you wanna do, you just look at it and pinch. There's one. Now, one thing, I have my mount hood over there, which I'm not standing there anymore, but if I place my finger on top of the crown of my headset and I press and hold, it will now center it with me so no matter what i'm doing it'll bring or if i have windows in other rooms and i want to bring them all in here then all i do is just press and hold that wheel at the top and it'll bring the windows with me whatever windows are open so they'll always they'll center it right with me what about if you want to take a photo really easily all you're going to do is place one finger at the top of your power button on top of the headset just press it once and now i can do a photo or a video so i'm looking at 
photo. I'm going to pinch right there to have photo. And I'm going to take a photo of my dog. And then I took a photo. Or I can look at video, pinch on video, and just press that button again at the top of the headset. And now I'm recording a video. And it's going to use the cameras on here so you can walk up to your dog and get a really cool video of your dog and do something like that. When you're done, press that power button again and it stops it. How do you bring up Control Center? Well, you want to look up and you'll see a little arrow pointing down. You see that arrow and you press uh, with your fingers and there's a couple of things you can do up here. The main thing is you can, one, check your notification center. You'll see that little bell. Tap that. See if you have any notifications and you can click on those. You can also go, I'm going to bring it back up and click these two things on top of each other. This brings up Control Center and you can connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. If you want to do one of those, you can look at Bluetooth, for instance, and just press and hold it. And if you see it, great, click on it. Otherwise, go to Bluetooth settings and this will bring up your Bluetooth settings where you can look for other devices to connect to. Also under Control Center, you can see I am recording a, a screen record. If you look at right where that red is, if you just click on that, you'll be able to screen record. It'll just start. And then also, if you want to use the microphone built into this, you can as well. You'll see if you pinch and hold where that screen record is, it'll bring up uh, the picture of the microphone. And you're just going to make sure that you click on the microphone and make sure it's white. And then you know it's recording the microphone. Also from in here, you can screen mirror. So you'll see view mirroring. I can click on this and I can mirror this. What I see, if I'm trying to show somebody or I want to have that see what they're seeing, I can have them push it to one of my devices, either one of my Apple TVs or my 98 inch TCL TV or a Roku TV. There's a bunch of devices you'll be able to send it to. I can even send it to my Mac Studio. And that's how you can mirror your look here. You can also look at your Mac virtual display and you can select your Mac to extend the display in your space. So if you have any Macs on in your house, which I do, but it's on lock screen, so that's why it's not showing. But like my Mac Studio, I could actually allow it to show up in these glasses. So it's pretty cool to do that as well. I can also search on the right hand side. I can spotlight search something to try to find it. And also guest mode. If you see that little person with a circle around it, I can go into guest mode. And when I start that, that will allow me to see what that person sees if I go into view mirroring, but it will allow them to use my headset and not really get into my personal information. So you would just hit start at that point. What about if you want to delete an app? Well, bring your apps up and choose the app that you want to delete. So maybe I want to delete that Orbit app. I'm just going to look at it. I'm going to pinch and hold. And then you're going to see remove app. So you tap remove app. And then you just click delete and it will delete the app. Speaking of apps, you can actually also download iPad and iPhone apps. So go into the app store. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see that you can look at apps and games, arcade or search. If you go into search and then look at the top here, let's just type something, Instagram. And then I'm going to search for it. And you can see at the top, I have Apple Vision apps, but then I have iPhone and iPad. Now they still don't have a lot of the apps, like there's no Insta real Instagram app, there's no Facebook app, there's no YouTube app at the time of making this video. but you can still look at some of these apps and you can download these apps uh, that are iPhone and iPad apps. And you might ask yourself, hey, I downloaded the app, where did it go? Well, go back to your home screen and you're gonna see a folder called compatible apps. If you go in there, that's where all of your apps are uh, that are not uh, Apple Vision apps. That's how you can get to your just compatible apps that work with this in here. All right, if you're a Mac user, you've probably force quitted some apps. How do you force quit? On this app, well, my battery's getting low. So what you want to do is place one finger at the top of the crown, the other finger at the top of the power button, and you want to press and hold those buttons until you see the force quit menu here. So this is where the force quit menu is. Maybe you want to force quit that calculator. So I'm going to look at it. I'm going to pinch my fingers together. I'm going to hit force quit, force quit. And now I have force quit that app. So that's how you force quit. How do you shut this thing down if you want to completely shut it down? Maybe you're having an issue. Uh, this beta software that I'm using is a little bit buggy right now. So what you can do with that is you can press and hold on the crown button and the power button. Press those down and hold them. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. You'll see force quit. And here you go. You see slide to power off. You would just slide, pinch and hold and slide that to power this off. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is on settings. If you look at settings, 
You can control, obviously, the Bluetooth stuff, your Wi-Fi. You can go into general and check out your, if there's a software update, it's a quick way, just go into software updates and see if there's any updates. You can go and look at your environments that you have and control the volume or the appearance. Say you like, you sometimes you can control those so they're night or day. I set it to automatic, so that's a good one to do. You got sounds if you wanna lower ringtones and alerts or headphone audio. But one thing I wanted to show you is if you go into display, oops, display, you can see you can control the brightness. If it's too bright for you or it's too small or the text size is too small, you wanna make the text bold. Um, or again, you wanna uh, control the brightness of the display or change the appearance. You can do that all right here. Now, one last thing I wanna show you before I forget, and I should've showed you this earlier, is if you look up and you press down right there, you can also see your battery percentage. You see 19 at the very top there, the date and the time as well. So there you guys go. Those are my tips and tricks for the Apple Vision Pro. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.